In this video, I'm going to share with you a brand of kids puzzle books that is making over $10,000 per month publishing these books on Amazon KDP. Let's take a look at who they are and how they make this much money so that you can do it too. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel because I would really love to see you back here next week. So kids puzzle books. Kids puzzle books are a really great medium content style of book that can do really well on Amazon. Puzzle books in general do really well on Amazon. I have quite a few videos on my channel all about puzzle books and software that can help you make them. So if you're interested in these types of books, make sure to go and check out those videos as well. But these puzzle books that I'm going to talk about in this video today, they are a little bit different from anything that I've talked about on my channel before. And the great thing about them is that you don't need any kind of special software to make them. So let's take a look at this brand and these books. Okay, so this is the series of books that I came across when browsing Amazon. This type of puzzle book is a riddle book and these ones are specifically targeting kids. This publisher has seven books in this series of puzzle books. They do have other books published outside of this series but for this video I'm going to be focusing on these books within this series. The first book we are going to look at is Difficult Riddles for Smart Kids, 300 Difficult Riddles and Brain Teasers Families Will Love. So we'll take a look at the inside of this book to see exactly what it is, what it contains. Now at the moment it does look like there's a little bit of trouble with the loading of the this inside feature, but we'll have a quick scroll down and we can see that basically this looks like a very simple book and it's just pages of questions, riddles for the child or their family to try and figure out. The book has 300 brain teasing riddles and puzzles, which spans over 79 pages. It's a six by nine inch selling for $7.99. If we go down, we'll take a look. They do have a little bit of A plus content there. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, basically just links to all the other books in that series, which I think is extremely important. If you're going to do any kind of A plus content at all, you at least want to do the links to the other books like this one. We take a look down here. This book is ranking at 415. So 415 out of all the books in the Amazon bookstore and has a massive amount of reviews and ratings over 30 reviews and ratings. And under here, you can see this link, which is to the series. So it's showing this is book one of seven in a series of books, all similar to this one. The next book in this series we can see is Math Riddles for Smart Kids. So very similar to the book we just looked at, except this one's going to be focusing on maths. Definitely looks like there's some issue today with the look inside feature, typical when you're trying to film a video. This one, we can at least see the contents. So we've got different levels of difficulty of riddles and basically just the same layout as the previous book, all text, no images, and just riddles, questions, all in relation to maths. So we can see a little bit more of the look inside feature on this one. As you can see, just really, really simple, basic layout on these books. You pretty much would not need to have any kind of design design skills, any kind of graphic design skills, or any kind of special software to make this kind of book. So this book is very similar to the previous one we looked at, 70 pages, 6 by 9 inch, selling for $7.99, has a great amount of reviews and ratings, not quite as much as the previous book, but still really great amount of reviews. And the bestseller rank on this one currently sitting at 5,623. So amazing bestseller rank. And I'll just very quickly go through the rest of the books in the series. So a book of interest intriguing facts for smart kids. So not so much questions, but just facts. Difficult puzzle book for smart kids. So that one's actually got some puzzles in it or different types of puzzles in it. Another puzzle book for kids and a couple more puzzle books for kids. The last four or so books in this series are more the traditional style of puzzle books. And it looks like they all just target a different age. So eight, nine, 10, and then 11 to 14. But these top two difficult riddles for smart kids and math riddles for smart kids are definitely the best performing books out of this series. Something else I do just want to show you is I did go back onto Amazon and do a search for kids riddle books just to see does this niche have potential or is it just those books that happen to be doing really well but there's no others that are doing well. But if we take a look here, there are quite a few riddle books that are doing 
very well. So even though these two are sponsored products, meaning those are Amazon ads, you can still see that their bestseller ranks are really great and they've got a lot of reviews and ratings on their books. This one, another fantastic bestseller rank. The Ultimate Book of Challenging Riddles for Kids, fantastic bestseller rank. A joke book, which isn't quite exactly the same as what we're looking at, but then we've got a big book of tricky riddles, which not as good a bestseller rank, but not too bad of a bestseller rank on that one. That one has a great bestseller rank. So there are lots of books performing really well under this niche. Okay, so now let's take a look at the figures and see how I came up with the figure of over $10,000 per month that this publisher is making from this series of books. As we saw, they do have seven books in their series on Amazon KDP, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus really on those top two books because those top two books really are the money makers. They're the two books that are going to be making the majority of that monthly income for this publisher. So overall, all, they probably are making a little bit more than what we look at here because I'm not taking into account all the books that are published within this series as well as all the books in total that this publisher has on Amazon. First of all, we want to go back and look at those bestseller ranks. So a bestseller rank is a number given to every product, every book within the Amazon marketplace, and that BSR determines a book's popularity within the Amazon marketplace bookstore. So the lower the number, the better. You ideally want to get that number to as close to one as you possibly can. And we can use the bestseller rank to give us an idea of how many books this person could be selling daily or monthly. It's very easy to use the bestseller rank to get an estimate of how many book sales somebody may be making by using an online tool like this one. I use TCK Publishing's Amazon Book Sales Calculator, but there are multiple ones out there for free that you can use to do the same thing. And all we need to do is get the bestseller rank and pop it in to this calculator and it will estimate how many books are selling based on that bestseller rank. So book number one had a bestseller rank of 415. So that means this book could be selling around about 4,009 copies per month. Book number two had a bestseller rank of 5,623. So that book could be selling around 599 sales per month. So in total across those two books are selling around 4,608 copies per month based on those two bestseller ranks. Now we need to figure out how much each of these books might be or will be making every time one sells. We could just look at the fact that these books sell for $7.99 times that by the amount of books sold, the figure that we just worked out, and that will give us a sales figure overall, but that isn't really a true depiction of what the publisher gets or what's realistic in terms of what you would get if you were publishing books or anything like that. I mean, it would look really great for me to say that these books are making over $36,000 per month based on the sales price, but that isn't really true for the person publishing these books because we have to pay Amazon fees and printing fees and all that sort of stuff. So I prefer to look at the royalties because that is what the publisher actually receives into their bank account every month. And this is really easy to do. We just head on over to the Amazon KDP support website and use their KDP royalty calculator. So when we took a look at these books before, they were basically the same in terms of page count. They were both six by nine inch. Whether their book is 70 or 78 pages doesn't affect the royalty, and they were both selling for $7.99. So those books are going to be getting a $2.49 royalty for each book sold. When we take that figure, 4,608 sales per month times it by $2.49 royalty. That gives us a monthly income of just under $11,500 per month. Just incredible. No matter how many of these kind of videos that I make where I do a deep dive or I do a case study into a book or a series of books or a brand that are just doing so well. And I've got many of these types of videos on my channel now about all different types of books in all different types of niches. I still get so excited about the possibilities of how much can be made by publishing books on Amazon. But now it's time to see if we can figure out what this brand has done to achieve this. Have they done something special? Have they done something different? Are they doing something new that the rest of us hasn't tried yet to get these kind of results? Now, although the Look Inside feature is <laughs> not cooperating with me today, I have had a look at the inside of this book where all the pages were showing, and there is nothing inside these books pointing to any kind of website or social media. So I headed over to Google 
Google to do a search for the author name or the publisher name and the series name of the books, but Google search brings up nothing. No website, no social media, which means no Facebook ads. So the next question is, is this publisher running any kind of Amazon ads? Because if they're not promoting on social media, if they don't have a website, that also means they don't have an email list that they're building. The only other option is Amazon ads. So I went back to Amazon. I did a search for the specific name of this book. And if we scroll down a little bit down here, we can see that there is a sponsored ad. So this brand is definitely running Amazon ads on this particular book anyway. Whether they are doing it on the other books, I can't see. This is the only one showing up for now, but this is their most popular book and this is the one that they're running ads on that I can see. And this is another one of those cases, guys, where this publisher is relying only on Amazon ads and only ads to push these books to create massive monthly incomes. They are not spending any time whatsoever that I can see on any off Amazon promotion like social media or like building an email list. And if these kind of books interest you and you think you might like to make them for yourself, I would just say try to be really original with your riddles or the questions you use. It's probably not a good idea to just go out and copy from the internet and from other websites and just paste them into your book. If you do, you could run into issues. You most likely will run into issues if the content of your book was run through a plagiarism checker. Although there isn't any kind of specific information on this from Amazon, I'm sure they do some sort of plagiarism checks on books. And if you're just copying and pasting from the internet, this would cause problems for your KDP account. So that's another deep dive into a really interesting brand and series of books on Amazon that is just killing it with their monthly income from publishing this series of books on KDP. I hope you also found it interesting. If you do like these types of videos, looking at books and brands that do really well and how they do it, please make sure to subscribe because I do make these kinds of videos pretty regularly. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.